WWE champion is crowned and the former champion is suspended. Find out all the shocking details of the fallout from Money in the Bank along with news on a major star departing Ring of Honor, news on the WWE Draft, DWHS, Hot News, Diamond of the Ring, and much, much more. So sit back, relax, and get ready for the longest running wrestling talk show in the world today. Right here, right now on My24 Milwaukee and Fight TV. This is the Pro Wrestling Report, Primetime TV, the longest running pro wrestling news program in the world with your host, David Hero and Damian Nelson. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Pro Wrestling Report, Primetime Saturday night. Damian Nelson sitting alongside David Octavius of Tiberius, the alleged backyard, one-time knockout, straight-edge, hardcore Hall of Famer hero. How the heck are you? It's been an amazing week. It has been an amazing week. It has been an active week in the world of professional wrestling. So without further ado, let's get right to this week's big story, which is brought to you, of course, by Goober Law Offices, who is ready to represent you in your personal injury case and get you the compensation that you deserve. All you have to do is call 414-276-6666 for your free consultation now. Dean Ambrose is the new WWE Champion after winning the Money in the Bank ladder match last Sunday in Vegas and then cashing it in that same night on Seth Rollins, who had just taken the title from Roman Reigns. Reigns beat by Rollins, then beat by Ambrose, who is the champion. Now, we discussed the viability of Ambrose as WWE Champion last night on Feedback Friday at PWRShow.com, but we didn't talk about the biggest story coming out of this match which was a suspension of Roman Reigns from WWE on Tuesday. WWE announced that Reigns has been suspended for his first wellness policy violation, and he is going to be out for 30 days as a result. Now, Reigns took to Twitter with the following statement after the suspension, saying, and I quote, I apologize to my family, friends, and fans for my mistake in violating WWE's wellness policy. No excuses. I own it. And, you know, here's the thing about the whole wellness poly violation. It could be anything. Could be anything. It it could be any. It could, could be, be Adderall. Could be. It could be marijuana. It could be anything. No, because you only get fined if it's for marijuana. That is true. Okay, but let's say if, if if it is for testosterone, maybe he had a prescription from a doctor, you know, or didn't have a prescription, or what, there's so many X factors, and I think and I think too many people are concerned about what he did as opposed to doesn't matter. How can it get fixed and go forward? Yeah, doesn't, doesn't matter what he no, did. Here's all. the thing, though. In his statement on Twitter, he basically, had, whatever he did, he did. Yeah. It doesn't sound like there's a doctor's note or whatever no. else. Whatever He's he did, he did. He's not Adam Rosing it. And he, and he, did you get his mugshot t-shirt, Adam Rose's? No. For wrestling t No. He, did, he completely owned this. He manned up and said, I messed up. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I'm, and, and I'm suspended. Thing, some people have said, well, he owned it, but he didn't say what he did. He doesn't owe us that. Doesn't matter. It's a it's private your matter. business. Yeah. yeah. None exactly. of your business whatsoever. But this does keep, this 30 day suspension actually does keep Reigns in the advertised triple threat match with Ambrose and Rollins at Battleground, but it excludes, excludes him from the draft on July 19th. Now, I, for one, was shocked to hear the news of Reigns' suspension. But, David, you stated early, as early as last Sunday during Money in the Bank, and we talked about this a little bit on Feedback Friday last night, that you, uh, you felt sorry for Reigns I even did. before the suspension. I did, Do tell. because no matter what he did, it was never good enough for anybody. He went out there and had a great match with Triple H, two great matches with AJ Styles. But that was Triple H. That was AJ Styles. Roman Reigns you was know, carried through those you, matches. It still takes two guys to do it. you know. And then he goes out there and has an, an, another solid match with Seth Rollins, and all he does is get be, he's blamed for being force-fed to the fans. Which is whose fault? It's not Roman Reigns' fault. Are you sure? I'm pretty. I'm, I'm pretty. He's getting all the heat for it. You know, and, and people say, oh, he, you know, he's the golden child. He should have known better. How dare he do that? Blah blah blah. And I You're get talking it, about the wellness policy, by the way. Yeah, but everyone makes their mistakes in, well, in the issues. But Roman Reigns, he's going to be off TV for 30 days, which which is a good thing for him right now. It's a great thing. Because right now he's number four or five in the company from the top. Did, because you got to go Cena number one. you got to go Ambrose it, or Rollins you? number two. Uh-huh. Okay, Ambrose okay. or Rollins three. AJ four. I knew you were going to do that. And then you That's got, pretty substantial what you just did right there. AJ Styles in the top five performers in WWE right now. Right, absolutely. Yeah. He might be number two. Here's the thing. Here's the question. Monday night on Raw, it felt as if. It felt as if. Now, you got to assume 
this was known as of Sunday that Rollins was, was going Sunday to be morning. suspended. Yes, Ro Reigns. Reigns. Now, Monday night on Raw, when he, Roman Reigns, said to the fans, to all you dudes out there booing, <laughs> are we? Is he going to come back as? Is he finally going to make that? And was that the beginning of the heel he, turn he, for Roman Reigns? You know what? He needs it, doesn't okay. he? Okay, can we be honest? Let's be honest. That's what we do here There's on this no show. There's no more heels and baby faces in wrestling. There are no more heels and baby faces in wrestling. No. Okay. Okay. Right? Okay. With the exception of a but, Rusev, that's about it. But, okay, so is Brock Lesnar? Uh, that's not a bad example. Here's, let me rephrase the question, and let me reframe the question. I, in, in an I think you were going to see Roman Reigns adapt the Sable personality. Adapt the Sable personality. Yeah, this the, is for the, all the, the women who came to see the, me. Who want to be me and all the men that want to sleep with me or whatever no, it was. This is for all the, <laughs> the men who came to see me and the ladies that want to be me. Yeah, Are you ready for the it, grind? Yeah, exactly. And that's what Reigns should do. Because women are there for Roman Reigns, and the dudes are there thinking, I wish I could have arms like that. I wish my hair was as silky smooth Maybe as that's his. why they want to know what he did, so they can get arms like that. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> or maybe it's, it's his hair products. <laughs> well, they have, they have injections for that. You should try that. For hair? Yeah. That's that Ronco. Ronco? Ron Popeil thing. You know, the, the, no, the no. Floby? That's not what I'm talking about. Oh. Uh, so, so 30 days from now, Roman Reigns comes back. Yes. Is he welcomed with open arms by the same fans who That's, hated him now? Okay. Or is it a, a, a different situation? Here is how I look at it. How do you look at it? Ryan Braun, Milwaukee Brewers, Place Brewers. Place suspended for herpes. steroids. Okay? I thought it was herpes. Let's just stay focused. You can't be suspended for a herpes. Okay? But he got busted for steroids. He missed a quarter or a half of the season. He comes back. The fans still support him. They still love him. He's the home. Like it never guy. happened. Yeah. 30 days is a short time frame, but I think it's substantial that Reigns will not be part of the draft. But he'll be drafted. He just won't be just on the show. put a graphic up, yeah. Yeah. That's all you need. How do you build this three-way match at Battleground you know what's impressive? without him, without they him there? They didn't do an injury angle to get him off TV. They just wrote him off. Well, wrote him off, yes, but didn't write him off. There's no reason for There's him to be no gone. There's no explanation, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a, big, that's a big thing. Well, maybe this is indeed good news in disguise for Reigns, and... Uh, as he will Can now be off TV thing? I know we're going to go over time. Anyone that thinks this is an angle and they're saying he failed a wellness policy as an angle to get him off TV is asinine. Who would say, yeah, I got busted for something I shouldn't be doing and I'm off of TV? Sorry. Drives me nuts. Think. I'm a teacher, you know. The Soder family thought they'd take a road trip this summer. A little fun, a little sun. What could possibly go wrong? Even under the best driving conditions, semi-trucks can still be dangerous. The results of being in a wreck with 40 tons of steel and speed can be catastrophic. And it only gets worse when you don't have Gruber Lofses on your side. If you or a loved one has been injured by a semi-truck, call Gruber Lofses now. One call, that's all.
Claim your cash for the Robert Hack Diamonds quarter million dollar gold buying event going on now. We're paying top dollar for your gold. Bring in your gold rings, gold chains, gold bracelets, and claim your cash. Bring in your diamond rings, diamond pendants, loose diamonds, and claim your cash. Bring in your state jewelry, your antique jewelry, and heritage jewelry, and claim your cash. It's fast and easy. If we can't beat a competitor's offer on your scrap gold, we'll give you $20 just for trying. Robert Hack Diamonds. Fingers looking good. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Pro Wrestling Report Prime Time Saturday night. Damian Nelson sitting alongside David Hero. Have you calmed down yet? I'm yeah, a little heated yeah, in that last I'm segment. I'm a little agitated because, you know, it's just because there's so many wrestling fans feel entitled that they need to know everything. Not all of them, but there's a there's there is quite a few that think they need to know everything and they're entitled to it and they're smarter than everybody else. And it drives me insane. Let's go to this week's WWE report, which is brought to you by Fight TV. That's F I T E Fight. Which How else would features... you spell it? Well, there are a couple of ways you could spell it. But phonetically, that's correct. F I T E? Yeah, you're not going to spell it P H I Y T E, would you? <clears throat> PYT, pretty young thing. Sure, yes. Uh, FITE, Fight TV, which also features dozens of other wrestling uh, viewing options, and inc including MMA and, of course, this very show, The Pro Wrestling Report. Hey, Just how, last did Cal, night, how did Cal get that gig with Fight TV? Well, he, he, worked, his way, he worked his way up. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's got all kinds of options. I he can, get 15%, you know. That's the deal. No, Jack does. Jack signed his contract. Cal's got all kinds of options he can execute at any point. I'm sure. Download the free app right now on the Google Play Store and iTunes stores and start exploring everything on Fight TV right now. Now, WWE recently announced, folks, that the WWE draft will take place on July 19th, and it's going to be occurring during the first live SmackDown on the USA Network. They went on to say that the respective general managers of each brand would be making the selections. <clears throat> Shane McMahon said that he would be in charge of SmackDown this past Monday night on Raw, but then later said he's going to be running both shows, so that's still up in the air. Did you catch that? Yes. When he said to uh, Johnny Ace, uh, John Lar Laryngitis, which was awesome, by the way, <laughs> um, that he was going to be running SmackDown, then later on he said, well, I'm going to be running both shows. So I, I found it interesting that that announcement was made and no one really reacted to it or said anything about it, and then later on it was sort of cleaned up, I guess. But did you enjoy seeing Johnny Ace back? I love people power. How do you not enjoy? He has great theme music. He's color coordinated. It's like the opposite of brother love. Yes. Uh, however, in a press release about the draft, WWE said the brands will be competing against each other, specifically saying, and I quote, for the first time in history, on back-to-back -back nights, these two distinctive brands, Monday Night Raw and Tuesday's SmackDown, will compete with each other for television ratings, live events, and pay-per-views. Now, this is pretty interesting it's because be very before, interesting. they sort of just coexisted during the last brand split and bumped into each other from time to time. So, David, this strategy, as they've outlined it in this press release, will it work? My biggest concern is, the, is that the talent roster is too thin, and they're going to have to implement and add new talents to both sides. They don't have enough to fill two shows. Well, that's interesting. And actually, with that said, reports are out that uh, WWE has reached out to several stars to return to the company, specifically that uh, they have reached out to Kurt Angle. And we've talked about Kurt Angle and his potential to come back to WWE. Angle even confirmed the reports on Mark Madden's Pittsburgh radio show. But he also added that he has had no talks with the company recently. He said he spoke to them, uh, spoke to Triple H about six weeks ago. So he's unsure if he's going to return in time for the brand split. Well, so you got a lot of people out right. there to pick and, from. And let's be honest, right now bringing Kurt Angle in is not a good time considering what happened with his brother. Who was just convicted or uh, was pled uh, guilty. Pled guilty to murder. Yes. So they may want to keep the Angle name off of TV for a little bit. Kurt Angle, he, he, you know what? Kurt Angle's great. I respect him. He is, he is a machine. He has a unique talent. He'd be great to come back to WWE. But there's always a cloud around him. You know what I mean? There's always something <laughs> that well, he didn't necessarily do. I don't know if Angle does. There's always something that he didn't necessarily do that just sort of ends up it's yes. baggage, I guess you can call mm -hmm. it. Um, but, you know, this brand split and draft has certainly piqued a lot of interest. And conducting it on the first live SmackDown is a great idea to kick off the brand, David. And it's, it's going it, to be... SmackDown's going to be interesting. It might be a better show than Raw. You know what? It, 
I, I still believe, and we talked about this recently on this program, by asking the question of whether or not SmackDown was the new Raw, that I firmly believe SmackDown is indeed going to be the new Raw. Two hours, Mauro Ronaldo, who is just absolutely fantastic he is very on good. commentary. Uh, it's just, it's, it's going to be the hip show, if you will, I think SmackDown will be. Especially if Ex Shane ends up running Especially when football starts. No competition. What else are they going against on Tuesdays? Tosh? Uh, they'll go against The Flash. Didn't that just get canceled? No, The Flash, it's on the CW18. It's on our sister station. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't get that. I'll be conflicted now. And now? Yeah. <laughs> I don't get conflicted often. I can't wait for the brand split, and the draft live on July 19th should be incredibly interesting. Hi, gang. Mean Gene Okerlund here on My24, and you're watching the Pro Wrestling Report. All of the news about wrestling, not only here in Milwaukee, but throughout the world. Stay up to date. Join us every Saturday night. The Soder family thought they'd take a road trip this summer. A little fun, a little sun. What could possibly go wrong? Even under the best driving conditions, semi-trucks can still be dangerous. The results of being in a wreck with 40 tons of steel and speed can be catastrophic. And it only gets worse when you don't have Gruber Lofses on your side. If you or a loved one has been injured by a semi-truck, call Gruber Lofses now. One call, that's all. Wrestling Report Prime Time Saturday night. Damian Nelson sitting alongside David Hero, yes, and yes. what a show it's been! It's been a great show. But even with all that we've talked about, there's still hot news to discuss. And the hot news, of course, is brought to you by PWRShow.com, where you can watch all of our episodes on demand for free on your time. That's PWRShow.com. WWE has announced more details on the highly anticipated Cruiserweight series coming up to the WWE Network. Most importantly, the team of Mauro Ronaldo and Daniel Bryan will be hosting the series, which starts on July 13th, one week before the draft, and running until September 14th with a live two-hour finale on the network. Great pairing to host that show. Uh, two guys that have just made it fun to watch yeah i mean daniel bryan you know it'll be great to have him back he's a cruiserweight at heart yeah and uh it's gonna be a it's gonna be an interesting tournament because it's a bunch of unknown talents uh, uh well some known including tomaso champa who is uh from the milwaukee area here Aria we Divari, saw Aria yep. yep but i'm just saying there's but there's 32 there's, people there's, total there's a lot of them that you know are just coming off the indies yeah that's a good thing mm -hmm. um what happens after the cruiserweight series though david Hero. i think some of those guys will wind up on smackdown and raw they have to don't they yeah they do wwe is really top loading their content for the month of july and going into SummerSlam. they have to they've got so much well, going here's on. why because people are, don't don't want to be indoors in the summertime we, that's give true them a reason, very smart give them a reason you know to, to to be on the network here's an interesting morsel as well 24 percent of wwe's business right now their revenues mm -hmm. are coming from the network that's 24 a, that's a big percent. number that is their biggest business piece right now. How many is that, would you say? 24%? No. I They've got about one point. They expect to be at 1.5 million subscribers at the end of They gave updated so guidance that's 15 million a week. month. I can't do that math that quick. You yeah. just add a zero. Oh, I forgot. You're a teacher. I, I'm close. I'm 72 credits away from being done. Folks, Jerry Lawler has been absent from WWE programming due to a recent arrest for domestic violence. Jerry Lawler and his fiance were arrested late last week, and both have been ordered to stay away from each other during the investigation. WWE has suspended Lawler indefinitely as a result of the charges against him. Bad, bad spot for Jerry to be you, you in. Know, 66 uh, years old. And here's the and she's 27. 27. Do that math. Yep. You, you know, it just. I, and I've been around Jerry a lot. I consider Jerry a buddy, a mm -hmm. pal. I just don't see it. His story is so believable. He says she got home drunk. She was attempting to leave. Didn't know what her whereabouts were when she was attempting to leave. <clears throat> didn't want her to drive. Took the keys. Restrained her. 
It's a believable story. Jerry doesn't drink. No. Jerry's never had a history of any violence <laughs> like this. Um, um, they're, 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 they're... Jerry has too much to lose. He has too much to lose. And he was doing, again, he's, she hasn't said anything. He has said a lot. He was doing the right thing, it seems, but the charges are still pending right. against him. Right. Ring of Honor Wrestling has announced the departure of a top star from the company. Roderick Strong, who's also endorsed, by the way, will be leaving the company with his last event occurring tonight. Now, Roderick has been with the company for well over a decade, David Hero. And again, timing's everything. What do you think's next for Roderick Strong he, if he stays in wrestling? I believe NXT is, is, is calling him. What about TNA? Mike Bennett has had some success after leaving Ring of Honor and going to TNA. You know what's interesting? TNA has been re-signing a lot of their talents. But to what? Seth Rollins is set to be a part of the latest installment of the sci-fi movie series Sharknado. The WWE star will be one of many other stars making appearances in the movie which stars Tara Reid. <clears throat> Sharknado 4 premieres on July 31st. How does this happen? In really? ratings news this week, WWE saw peaked interest after the Money in the Bank event, drawing 3.5 million viewers, up half a million from the prior week. Now, it should be noted that WWE was not competing against the NBA playoffs as they were last week. Congratulations to Cincinnati, by the way, for winning the, the uh, NBA championship. No, it's the Cleveland Browns, okay? No, the Cincinnati Cavaliers. Is that who it was? Yeah, absolutely. Oh. And that's it for this week's hot news, folks. But how about the Diamond of the Ring? I got a Diamond of the Ring. I have this week's Robert Hag Diamond of the Ring. It's no big surprise to any of you. It is the brand spanking new WWE World Heavyweight this is Champion. Happening. This is happening right here as I sit. Dean Ambrose. And you hesitated. Well, Dean Ambrose wins the big Money in the Bank match, grabs the briefcase, waits until the time is right, cashes it in, hits the big DDT on Seth Rollins for the one, two, three, and leaves Lost Wages as our new World Heavyweight Champion. I, 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 I am so elated that you selected Dean Ambrose as your Diamond of the Ring. Well, it's painful because he's the guy that cost, is going to cost me the draft. <laughs> yes, he 390 points. Dean Ambrose scored for the draft. Nelson family. Just this past Sunday at Money in the Bank. It wasn't an afterthought. afterthought. It was strategic. I cashed in well, during the draft, much like he cashed in. At Money I'm in the Bank. I'm sick of all these cashing in. Speaking of the draft, let's get an update as to where the scoring stands as of today. At Gruber Law Offices, we understand that when you've been injured, life is tough. That's why we offer so many services for free. First call, free. First consultation, free. Stuck at home or in the hospital, we'll come to you for free. We'll deal with the insurance company for you and get you the help you need. Call Gruber Law Offices now. We don't get paid until you do, and your first consultation is always free. Hi, this is good old JR Jim Ross, WWE Hall of Famer, and you're watching Damon Nelson and David Hero on the Pro Wrestling Report. Claim your cash for the Robert Hack Diamonds quarter million dollar gold buying event going on now. We're paying top dollar for your gold. Bring in your gold rings, gold chains, gold bracelets, and claim your cash. Bring in your diamond rings, diamond pendants, loose diamonds, and claim your cash. Bring in your state jewelry, your antique jewelry, and heritage jewelry, and claim your cash. It's fast and easy. If we can't beat a competitor's offer on your scrap gold, we'll give you $20 just for trying. Robert Hack Diamonds, fingers looking good. Welcome back, fans, to the Pro Wrestling Report Prime Time Saturday night. Damian Nelson sitting here alongside that guy. And let's go to this week's TNA Impact Wrestling Report. Big news on Impact this past Tuesday as uh, Mike Bennett is now the new X Division Champion. Yes, how about, you know what, Mike Bennett has... It's a miracle. 
It is a miracle. But he's been solid since coming into TNA Impact Wrestling. It's been great. You know, um, it was good, too. And I, it's an interesting segment with Maria and uh, Billy Corrigan and Dixie Carter, where Billy Corrigan gave Dixie, told her maybe she should take some time off um, because she made an, <laughs> an error in judgment in her decision well, about Maria. someone's finally figuring that out, you know? Uh, but I, how do you feel about, okay, we've talked about Dixie being an on-air character. She's improved, but still isn't at all good. But Billy Corrigan has been not so he's bad. A, he's a showman. Yeah, he's, he's a performer. Stage, he yes. knows how. Yeah, he's, he's been done. on a stage before. He's done there. So Jeff Hardy, Matt Hardy, Brother Nero, and the Broken One um, had a cage match. Six Sides of Steel, and Jeff wins again over Matt Hardy. What's the end of this story between those two, David Harrell, do you think? They're eventually going to have to hug and make up. Everybody wants to see the brothers get back together again. Mm -hmm. w wouldn't you think? Yeah. How do they carry this that long, though? Because you got to go to their next big event is probably bound for glory as far as pay-per-views so how do you how do you how do you go that they can do night. another like they can do a lethal lockdown or something on a tuesday I night just the pop show be there when jeff takes matt for the makeover because he's gonna have to get rid of that cruella deville look right at some point one would assume yeah. uh, another solid edition of impact wrestling this past tuesday night on pop tv Big time wrestling in GLCW and, of course, us, the Pro Wrestling Report. This here? We're bringing wrestling back to Turner Hall. Oh, really? Friday night, August 19th with, Friday. The, with the icon Sting. Sting he, is coming to Milwaukee. He will be there. He's doing a meet and greet with Lex Luger is going to be there. Really? Damian Sandow, Billy Gunn, Rhino, Al Snow. It's going to be a huge event. Wow. Go to papstheater.org to get your meet and greet tickets for the icon sting. That's pretty awesome. It's huge. Big time wrestling Friday, August 9th. 19th. 19th, 19th yes. At Turner Hall in Milwaukee. That's yes. iconic. It David is iconic. Hero. Yes. The icon sting. Are you going to wear your face paint? I got the mask now. I don't oh, need to. Okay. Because I had awesome. difficulty with the paint coming off. Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, with that, uh, let's go to this week's D double H S, oh. David Hero. And I can't wait to hear after your Diamond of the Ring how great this might be. This week's D double H S is going to be absolutely fan. What? Oh, oh, oh. what is this? He's cashing in. <laughs> Are you cashing? He's cashing in. I'm cashing in. For what? K double H S. I love it. <laughs> yes. Are you serious? Cal's cashing in. So, what does that mean? <laughs> that means you're taking your leave. Cal, come on in. K double H S. Ah, this is fantastic. Seriously? He's cashing in. The contract's in there. If you want to read it, the contract's in there. But I never lost anything. But he won. What so now you've in? lost. Cal, how are you, pal? I am tremendous. It's great to see you here. Let's uh, get your shot all framed up here for KWHS. Cal Hero has spoken. Cal, what is the subject open in KWHS this week? This subject is Roman Reigns' suspension in the WWE. That's my Roman Reigns' suspension. Uh, sir, if you could, can you kill his mic, please? Are you kidding? Wait, no, kill his mic. What? Cal, all right, so Roman Reigns is suspended. How do you feel? You know, I, uh... I don't like how everyone's making, even though it is kind of a big deal, Yeah. they shouldn't, he's getting punished for it. Right, so, he is. Does the punishment fit the crime in your opinion? Yes, it does. I, I think that because he got caught doing, okay, let's, uh. Because <laughs> he got caught doing, we don't know what he was doing. That was no, the thing. Don't, know don't, don't let it upset you. you. I like these passionate KWHSs. Because this is my line. Well, all right, well, with, with that, let's hear it. Cal Hero has spoken. Spoken words. <laughs> we'll see you next week, folks.